In mathematics, more specifically in abstract algebra, in the theory of Lie algebras, the poincare birkhoff witt theorem, or PBW theorem is a result giving an explicit description of the universal enveloping algebra of a Lie algebra. It is named after Henry Poincare, Garrett Birkhoff, and Ernst Witt. The terms PBW type theorem and PBW theorem may also refer to various analogues of the original theorem, comparing a filtered algebra to its associated graded algebra, in particular in the area of quantum groups. Topic. Statement of the theorem Recall that any vector space V over a field has a basis, this is a set S such that any element of V is a unique finite linear combination of elements of S. In the formulation of poincare birkhoff witt theorem we consider bases of which the elements are totally ordered by some relation which we denote. If L is a Lie algebra over a field K, let H denote the canonical K linear map from L into the universal enveloping algebra U L. Theorem. Let L be a Lie algebra over K and X a totally ordered basis of L a canonical monomial over X is a finite sequence X1, X2, Xn of elements of X which is non-decreasing in the order, that is, X1, X2, Xn. Extend H to all canonical monomials as follows, if X1, X2, Xn is a canonical monomial, let H X1 X two X N equals H X one H X two H X N Display style H X underscore one X underscore two L dots X underscore N equals H X underscore one C D O T H X underscore two C D O T S H X underscore N Then H is injective on the set of canonical monomials and its range is a basis of the K vector space U L. Stated somewhat differently, consider Y equals H X. Y is totally ordered by the induced ordering from X. The set of monomials y1 k1 y2 k2 yk display style y underscore one carrot k underscore one y underscore two carrot k underscore two c d o t s y underscore l carrot k underscore l where y1 the multiplicative structure of u l is determined by the structure constants in the basis x that is the coefficient c u v x such that u v equals x element of x c u v x x Display style u v equals sum underscore x in x c underscore u v x x. This relation allows one to reduce any product of y's to a linear combination of canonical monomials. The structure constants determine y i y j y j y i, i.e., what to do in order to change the order of two elements of y in a product. This fact, modulo an inductive argument on the degree of non-canonical monomials, shows one can always achieve products where the factors are ordered in a non-decreasing fashion. The poincare birkhoff witt theorem can be interpreted as saying that the end result of this reduction is unique and does not depend on the order in which one swaps adjacent elements. Corollary. If L is a Lie algebra over a field, the canonical map L u L is injective. In particular, any Lie algebra over a field is isomorphic to a Lie subalgebra of an associative algebra. Topic: More general contexts. Already at its earliest stages, it was known that K could be replaced by any commutative ring, provided that L is a free K module, i.e., has a basis as above. To extend to the case when L is no longer a free K module, one needs to make a reformulation that does not use bases. This involves replacing the space of monomials in some basis with the symmetric algebra, S L, on L. In the case that K contains the field of rational numbers, one can consider the natural map from S L to U L, sending a monomial v 1 v 2 v n display style v underscore 1 v underscore 2 c d o t s v underscore n 4 v i element of l display style v underscore i in l to the element 1 n sigma element of s n v sigma 1 v sigma 
2 v sigma n display style frac 1 n sum underscore sigma in s underscore n v underscore sigma 1 v underscore sigma 2 c d o t s v underscore sigma n then one has the theorem that this map is an isomorphism of k modules Still more generally and naturally, one can consider U L as a filtered algebra, equipped with the filtration given by specifying that V 1 V 2 V N Display style V underscore 1 V underscore 2 C D O T S V underscore N lies in filtered degree N Display style L E Q N the map L U L of K modules canonically extends to a map T L U L of algebras, where T L is the tensor algebra on L, for example, by the universal property of tensor algebras, and this is a filtered map equipping T L with the filtration putting L in degree one. Actually, T L is graded, then passing to the associated graded, one gets a canonical morphism T L G R U L, which kills the elements V W West Virginia for V W element of L, and hence descends to a canonical morphism S L G R U. L. Then, the graded PBW theorem can be reformulated as the statement that, under certain hypotheses, this final morphism is an isomorphism of commutative algebras. This is not true for all K and L C, for example, the last section of Cohn's 1961 paper, but is true in many cases. These include the aforementioned ones, where either L is a free K module hence whenever K is a field, or K contains the field of rational numbers. More generally, the PBW theorem as formulated above extends to cases such as where 1 L is a flat K module, 2 L is torsion free as an abelian group, 3 L is a direct sum of cyclic modules or all its localizations at prime ideals of K have this property, or 4 K is a Dedekind domain. See, for example, the 1969 paper by Higgins for these statements. Finally, it is worth noting that, in some of these cases, one also obtains the stronger statement that the canonical morphism S L G R U L lifts to a K module isomorphism S L U L without taking associated graded. This is true in the first case as mentioned, where L is a free K module, or K contains the field of rational numbers, using the construction outlined here. In fact, the result is a Colgebra isomorphism, and not merely a K module isomorphism, equipping both S L and U L with their natural Colgebra structures such that Delta V equals V one plus one V Display style delta v equals v o times one plus one o times v for v element of L. This stronger statement, however, might not extend to all of the cases in the previous paragraph. Topic: History of the theorem. In four papers from the 1880s by Alfredo Capelli proved, in different terminology, what is now known as the poincare birkhoff witt theorem in the case of L equals G L N Display style L equals Mathfrak G L underscore N the general linear Lie algebra, while Poincare later stated it more generally in 1900. Armand Borel says that these results of Capelli were completely forgotten for almost a century", and he does not suggest that Poincaré was aware of Capelli's result, Tundat and Tran have investigated the history of the theorem. They have found out that the majority of the sources before Borbicki's 1960 book call it birkhoff witt theorem. Following this old tradition, Fofanova in her encyclopedic entry says that Poincaré obtained the first variant of the theorem. She further says that the theorem was subsequently completely demonstrated by Witt and Birkhoff. It appears that pre bourbaki sources were not familiar with Poincaré's paper. Birkhoff and Witt do not mention Poincaré's work in their 1937 papers. Carton and Eilenberg call the theorem Poincaré-Witt theorem and attribute the complete proof to Witt. Bourbaki were the first to use all three names in their 1960 book. Knapp presents a clear illustration of the shifting tradition. In his 1986 book he calls it Birkhoff-Witt theorem, while in his later 1996 book he switches to Poincaré-Birkhoff-Witt theorem. It is not clear whether Poincaré's result was complete. Tunnett and Tran conclude that, "...Poincaré had discovered and completely demonstrated this theorem at least 37 years before Witt and Birkhoff." On the other hand, they point out that, 
Poincare makes several statements without bothering to prove them. Their own proofs of all the steps are rather long according to their admission. Borel states that Poincare more or less proved the poincare birkhoff witt theorem in 1900. <laughs> Notes <laughs>